that you use two methods to identify the patient. What smell and taste? <laughs> nice girl. <laughs> but the most important thing public health has taught doctors, or we're trying to teach them, is to wash your hair, right? You think doctors didn't have mothers. Uh, our weren't employees, I don't, I don't know. Uh, so, I mean, it was so bad in hospitals that they were infecting the wrong patients at the wrong site. <laughs> so we, <laughs> the public health company's little buttons that doctors are supposed to wear would say, ask me if I wash my hand. <laughs> well, have you, punk? <laughs> The other rules are you're trying to figure out which patients are likely to commit suicide. How the hell do you do that? Nobody knows how, how to do that. Uh, and the third rule that's pretty interesting is to get rid of offensive abbreviations. We're all familiar with those, right? Like FLK, for funny looking kid. That's a real uh, G-A-R or it just ain't right. <laughs> but there's some you can keep, FMG you can keep for foreign medical graduate, but it's just descriptive. <laughs> and it's better than the alternative that doctors have been using for years, TWA, Third World Assassin. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> You're on your own. Although I never thought that was as bad as uh, as T twerks, which is take the person out and shoot them. <laughs> oh, no, we don't use that. Anymore. But I was on the web uh, the other day. And I found a quiz. I like quizzes, especially when I'm trying to put together my final exam. <laughs> and, and they said that if you, you could find out if you had low T. What little tea was, but I was interested to find out. And these are these are real questions. You can look them up. Not now, but you can look them up. Uh, first question was, uh, have you recently experienced a decrease in your athletic ability? <laughs> Not recently. <laughs> the next one was, are you grumpy? <laughs> Getting there, you know, take this, this quiz. Uh, and the next one is: Have you lost height? 
I never had height. <laughs> and the other one was, are you falling asleep after dinner? Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So no matter what you answered, it turned out you needed uh, 1.62 Andrew gel, whatever that is. <laughs> but I'm not surprised, I'm not surprised. So on the new Obamacare website, which has taken a lot of grief, there actually is an enhancement where they tell you how to have a dinner to discuss death with your relatives. It's called death over dinner. You're probably not familiar with that, right? Um, sounds like a good idea. But the most interesting thing to me was not that, because that's, that's probably a good idea. It was that you could have it, if you want, you could have it at a fast food restaurant. <laughs> well, there's one way to find out who's suicidal. <laughs> Doctors have gotten uh, so pervasive in our society that they've taken over, uh, and patient safety works into this too, they've taken over uh, the execution of this country. As you probably know all executions are now done uh, by lethal injection. So we want the doctors to do that. And the doctors have taken what they learned from patient safety and put it right on death row. It's really kind of interesting, right? Uh, before they put in the IV, they use an alcohol prep, to make sure they're not spreading infection. <laughs> Very important. Uh, they're using two ways, actually are using uh, smell and taste to identify the uh, person, the condemned, the person to be executed, right? Uh, and probably one of you was involved in this. They've actually done a survey of final words. What are the new final words of uh, the doctor and the condemned? You could probably guess what they are. Uh, the doctor's word, final word is, I now hand it over to the TWA. <laughs> and the condemned's final words are, have you washed your hands? <laughs> Thank you very much.